How's it going everybody? Welcome to Video Tech and also to my look at the MSI Vigor GK30 keyboard and a mouse a combo and also this is the white version. Now we're just going to do a quick little unboxing, test it out, show you guys some of the features because the keyboard and the mouse have also already been released previously. This is just now the white version and that you get it inside a combo as well. So quickly for the price point, this one is currently retailing for around $65 on Amazon around a thousand Rand for here in South Africa which does give you around a 10% saving if you do look at both of these individually because the keyboard is actually the MSI GK30 Vigor keyboard so the name of the combo and the keyboard is exactly the same but the mouse is a bit different because this is now the clutch GM11 white mouse now you do get both of these in a black as well and then also the combo in black but this is now with the new nice and a white design so pricing for these individually the keyboard is retailing for around 40 dollars or 740 rand for here in south africa and the mouse is around 26 dollars or 380 rand so that's again around a 10 percent saving so if you really want to save some cash then this is an option especially if you do look at these individually and sometimes you might even get them on a nice uh, discount as well now let's quickly just connect them up so you guys can see all the lighting and everything. Now we can already see for the cables, both of these are around like 1.8 meters and they are white and they are non-braided. Are you looking for a new gaming gear, whether it's peripherals, hardware, cases, and so on? Well, MSI has what you need, especially with their reasonably priced Pizza Express 3 or 4 NVMe SSDs, like the M390 with a solid performance at an affordable price, which we also did a build on. For the case, the Gunnier 110M might just be the perfect fit for your new build. It still has the same cool design as the 110R, but now with a mesh front that allows for increased airflow. Better yet, it's even more affordable. Now, if you're instead in need of a power supply, the MPG A850GF is ready for you with an 80 plus gold rating, a 10 year warranty, being fully modular and available in 650, 750, and 850 watts. Lastly, what about peripherals? Well, the GM41 wireless is the one you should check out. Not only is it wireless, but it's also a lightweight, only weighing 74 grams, uses the PAW3370 new high-end optical sensor, a battery life up to 70 hours, and it comes with a cool docking station, so you don't need to worry about cables or anything like that, just dock it on there. So check out all of those with the link in the description below. So for the lighting, it's actually a pretty nice so far. It does have a very nice glow, both on the keyboard and then also on the mouse here around the side. Now, you might not see it that clearly because of all of the lighting, but I will turn off the lights momentarily so you guys can see also how it looks. But I think we're gonna start off with the keyboard first. So the keyboard is entirely made out of plastic. You do have some flex to it, but luckily it's not too, too bad. And it doesn't feel too cheap, I have felt a lot of cheaper keyboards in my days. Now, unfortunately, this is not a mechanical keyboard. It is only a main mechanical keyboard. So it's a membrane, but it's louder, as you guys can hear there. And it has a, a better design, which does improve the durability for a, for an increased amount of click lifespan, which I think takes up to around like 12 million clicks. Now uh, quickly underneath the keyboard, you do have your two flip out keyboard feet here in the corners with your rubber pads for grip. And you do have three pads here as well. Now, again, I do like the white design. I do like the RGB glow. You can unfortunately see some of uh, the light uh, LEDs right there. It actually does have some hot spots, but it's not too, too bad. I think with all the lights off, it's going to look really nice. So quickly for the backlight, you can adjust it inside the MSI software or you can adjust everything on the keyboard itself as well. So for the backlight, you do have a six zone RGB backlighting. So it's unfortunately not a per key RGB backlit, but that's okay for the price point. I don't mind it that much. And it does again have a nice 
cool glow to it. So you do have a bunch of controls here on the keyboard, which you can adjust either with the software or on the keyboard itself. So you can adjust at the brightness level, which you have a one, two, three, four. Now four, three levels and then off. You can adjust the speeds as well. If you want to increase it, you have around three or four speeds there now for the effects you do have your different ones that you can switch between which is your rainbow wave effect you do have your static color as well which you can adjust which i also believe is only around six colors so red yellow green aqua uh, blue pink uh, uh, white which is like an off white it's not entirely clean then you get your color cycle effect, which is going to cycle in and out between the different colors, which you can also again adjust the brightness or the speed if you wanted to. Next, you have your rainbow wave type of effect, which just kind of goes through the keyboard there. Next, you have your ripple effect. So if you touch it, it's going to send out waves. And again, also lower the speeds, which doesn't really do that much. Next up, you have your kind of explosion effect or maybe a ripple. So depending on where you press, it's going to adjust and push that out. And you can also adjust the colors if you wanted to there. Next up, you have a static rainbow effect, which I believe this one is called the customize which inside the software, you'll be able to customize this to your liking. But I kind of like it like this being also steady and also being nice and light. Well, that fits not very nicely with the white of the keyboard. Moving on to some additional commands that you get. Of course, you do have your RGB controls, but you do also have your media controls up here for your previous play, pause, stop, and also your volume controls. And then finally, you do have your Windows lock key here. So if you want to go into gaming mode you can unlock the windows key and then also your escape with function key is to reset the entire keyboard now finishing off the keyboard we can just quickly hear how it sounds So you can definitely hear it does have a bit of a louder click to it like most mechanical keyboards but it's not entirely there and it doesn't feel as nice as well you do have a bit of that mushy feeling that you get with membrane keyboards unfortunately but it doesn't really feel that bad to be honest so and honestly i wouldn't mind that much using a keyboard like this but i would pre preferably go for a full mechanical keyboard just for those who are new, this is how a true mechanical keyboard sounds. Oh, I just love that sound. So these are browns, where these are again just normal membranes. But also that keyboard is around like three times this keyboard. So. You can't expect everything. Now that's it for the keyboard quickly. Now let's quickly move on towards the mouse. Again, this is the MSI Clutch GM11. And it's actually the first time that I'm using this mouse as well. So, so far, not actually that bad. It is an ambidextrous design, which is going to work great for lefties and also righties. And it does fit quite nice in my hand. I have to say, if the cable just doesn't get hooked on the table actually feels really good in my hand quite surprised i really thought it's not going to be that great but i'm actually decently surprised so quickly for the mouse buttons they do have a nice click to them don't feel any travel delay or anything like that or mushy keys really i fully built construction it is mostly plastic but it also doesn't feel too cheap. Again, I felt a lot, a lot cheaper mice. And again, $25, that's definitely a not a bad. So for here on the top and the buttons, you do have a smooth matte finish. And then here on the side, you do have more of a rubberized feeling on both the left and the right side. With on the right side only, unfortunately not on the left, you do have your two mouse buttons, which 
does have a standard click to them. It's nothing really good or bad to say about them. They do have a decent click to them. Not too much travel. Some do have quite a bit of travel where the button actually goes into the body, whereas this one doesn't really have that issue. So, and also placement for them isn't that bad. So my thumb does rest slightly on them, but also a majority on the side. So if I want to quick press, I can also do that both with the front and the back side of my thumb. So it's not gonna be a problem there. Now as for the size, it is slightly a bit smaller, so I have more of medium size hand, nothing too a big really. And for me, I do believe that more of a claw or hybrid claw style grip is going to work the best here, but also maybe like a fingertip style grip will work as well. Palm style maybe, but it's slightly a too small for me to re do a full palm style grip. Maybe if you do have smaller hands, maybe a, a kid or so on, that's going to work a better, but majority I think it's going to be slightly a, a hybrid claw style for me. Uh, quickly, just for the weight, we can see how heavy it is. My scale isn't perfect, but you're getting around like a 90, a 95-ish grams, I believe. So not too bad, not too heavy, not too light. I think it's pretty nice in the middle of there where i think majority of people will quite like it but now quickly for the scroll wheel you do have a nice wheel as well so it is rubberized for grip no rgb unfortunately around the scroll wheel it's, it's a cheaper mouse wouldn't expect it really to have that but it has nice soft steps and a smooth scroll as well and also not loud at all you know, have a normal mouse click there as well. And then just behind the scroll wheel, you do have your DPI selection a switch, which is going to change the color on the logo to let you know on which DPI level you are on. And I believe you have five different DPI levels ranging from 400, 800, 1,600, 3,200, and also 5,000 DPI. But you will be able to change that inside the software as well if you wanted to give it a bit more precise increments there. And if you do have three nice large glide pads, and then also the Pixar PMW3325 optical sensor, which is some of the budget sensors that you get, but they're still really, really good. You honestly don't really get bad sensors anymore, especially from a PM, the Pixar sensors. So no, no complaints there. I have used other mice with the sensor as well, and they're pretty much just great. So I don't expect anything bad from them. Unfortunately, I don't have all of the IPS rating. It's probably going to be a thousand hertz, just like a normal, and also don't have the liftoff distance, but it is also quite low. Looks like it's going to be around a one or one and a half, like a DVDs just for measurement. So nice going to be for your liftoff flicks. It's gonna work perfect for that. And it's darker. <laughs> so I quickly turned off one of the lights so you guys can see all of the lighting and everything a bit more clearer. So this is majority how it's actually going to look like on the, the keyboard. Again, looks a pretty a nice, I have to say. You can of course adjust it again to get your rainbow flow there. And again, here on the side, it does have a nice RGB strip here, which just glows from the keys. I do also like that they have that transparent back plate almost underneath the keys, which does help to actually reflect the light or evenly spread it throughout the keys. Some keyboards have that, some don't. I do appreciate it, especially on these white keyboards. It makes it, the lighting look so much clearer and better. So I do really, really like that. Even though it is only six areas of actually backlighting, it looks really nice. So that's it for the keyboard. And then here, of course, is the mouse with the bottom side or here other on the side actually having the RGB strip. So you can see it there. It does have a nice, a nice glow. Now you do actually have some controls on the mouse itself if you don't want to use it with the software. So you can adjust the brightness. All you need to do is press the deep eye button and then also the right button and that's going to adjust the brightness. So there it's off, level one, level two, level three, and off. So also three levels are there. You're also able to switch modes by pressing the DPI button with the middle mouse click. So there it's on a static currently. 
then you have your color a cycle they have more of a wave type of effect going around the side of the mouse here you do have that next up you have a longer one that goes around the side there next up you have your react effect so if you press on the button it's going to light up there from both sides which looks pretty nice then you have your another react effect where it also just lights up as you guys can see around there and then lastly it goes off and then you can re-enable it now you can also adjust the speeds of the backlight by pressing the DPS button and then also the front mouse button so slow faster and fastest oh and that's the fast that's kind of more of a steady color right there and then lastly if you want to adjust the direction of the effect you can just press the DPI with the back button and that's going to change it from left to right or right to left so that is pretty much it for the RGB on both the keyboard and the mouse and I have to say it does look quite a good all right, so finishing off, we're gonna just leave it dark for now so you guys can still see all of the lighting and everything, which again, looks really nice. I think that's one of the fav my favorite features on these, on the keyboard and the mouse, is just that the RGB looks really stunning. Even on the mouse, just here on the, around the side. Of course, you don't always look at it, but it looks really, really nice. So starting off with the keyboard, don't have too many complaints, especially for the price point. You can't be too nitpicky for the price point. But I think the only thing that I don't like that much is the space bar is quite, quite loud. So I think that's my biggest drawback. Um, also, the cable on the key on the keyboard is fine, but it's a bit of a problem on the mouse being very, very stiff. But of course, again, that is on the mouse itself. The keyboard, nothing really else bothered me that much. It's still a mechanical switch, so it's not the best, but it's better than nothing, really. But I'd rather, again, take this than that cheap, normal membrane switches. These ones do have a nice feel to them, kind of like a mechanical, but again, not entirely. It's, might sound like one, but it does have that mushy feeling when bottoming out, so. Just keep that in mind. Now that's pretty much it for the keyboard. Again, RGB, everything looks really, really nice. For the mouse, I was actually really impressed with the mouse. And I would say that if you're even just looking for the mouse separately, it's possibly going to be a nice option that you want to go for. It fits really nicely in my hand. Again, more of a medium sized hand, but ambidextrous design, it fits really, really nice. It is also nice and smooth, the, the mouse feet. So it does slide around very smoothly. Um, the mouse buttons, pretty standard again, nothing too crazy there. The side buttons are also okay, nothing really to complain about or praise. Uh, mouse wheel, decent as well. I would have actually liked to have like an RGB there, lighting there as well. I think that would look really, really nice. But yeah, nitpicking right there. Probably the biggest gripe that I have is going to be the cable, which is really stiff. I would have liked it was a braided softer cable but with the rubber cable as you guys can see it just like bounces all around. It's really really stiff. So I would say maybe get like something like a mouse bungee to help out or just stretch the cable properly. I just kind of unboxed it so it's still quite hard but if it wasn't for that it's a really, really nice mouse, especially again for the price point and that the Pixar uh, 3325 optical sensor is just going to be really good. So nothing to complain about right there. So that's pretty much it for my look at the MSI Vigor GK30 keyboard and mouse combo. If you guys want to get it for yourself, I will leave links in the video description if it's going to stay there. No, it's not. So you guys can get it for yourself again, both here in South Africa and then also on Amazon. So you do have plenty of options there. Just like all the cables piling up there. <laughs> 
But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Like always, a big thanks to MSI South Africa for sending these over for a view. Pretty decent again for the price point. I kind of do like them, especially again, the RGB, but it's so bright now you can't really see it that clearly. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.